If you're looking to develop self-discipline, it's helpful to draw inspiration from the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, the illustrious emperor of Rome. He reigned from 161 to 180 AD and is revered as the last of the five good emperors. Marcus Aurelius not only led the vast empire but also left his legacy through autobiographical writings known as Meditations. In this remarkable work, the Roman statesman offers insightful concepts about the development of self-discipline. Let's highlight the 10 most relevant principles from these writings. Number 1. Find Your Purpose For Marcus Aurelius, we must fulfill our purpose because it's what motivates us to get out of bed every morning. If you have a clear understanding of your goals and how your tasks align with them, you're more likely to complete them. The most significant source of self-discipline is having a reason to do a task. If you're unsure of what to do, just start. If you want to be a writer, write every day. If you want to be an artist, draw and create every day. You don't need more motivation, research, or advice. Just start practicing something that interests you. This purpose will give you the internal drive and motivation to achieve your goals. Number 2. Trust Yourself After establishing a solid purpose, it's time to build a practical action plan to help you reach your goal. Commit not only to your goals but also to the small actions you'll take along the way. You must be fully committed to doing what it takes to complete the job, no matter the challenges that arise. Self-discipline is the ability to act and do what you need to do, regardless of your physical, mental, or emotional state. Everything you want in life depends on your ability to take the necessary actions to achieve your goals. Start by creating an effective action plan with a deadline for your goal. The plan should be based on small milestones that break down your goal into manageable steps. This tactic puts you in control, giving you a sense of mastery over the tasks and projects you're working on. The ultimate goal is to avoid feeling overwhelmed because being overwhelmed can quickly lead to procrastination. And where there's procrastination, there can't be self-discipline. Number 3. Show up every day. Building your life, action by action, and being content with each of them is essential. You should show up every day and do the work. Often, we fail to achieve our goals because we lack consistency. You need to show up every day and do the work. The simple act of showing up and immersing yourself in your craft works wonders for mental resilience. You build focus and accept the lengthy process required to achieve something significant. It's necessary to invest countless hours before reaping any benefits. Self-discipline is essentially a habit of consistency. Finding the motivation to do something repeatedly until it becomes automatic and starts yielding results is crucial. Even if you fail once, it doesn't define your character. Your ability to move forward shapes you into a disciplined and strong person. A bad day doesn't have to turn into a bad week, and a bad week doesn't have to become a bad year. Remember that every new day is a fresh start. Open your eyes, focus on what's ahead, and embrace life. Number 4. Practice Voluntary Hardship According to Marcus Aurelius, we should not seek suffering for its own sake but accept obstacles and difficulties as opportunities for growth. By consciously facing uncomfortable situations, we can become stronger and wiser. We should discipline ourselves in small things and then move on to things of greater value. Voluntary hardship is one of the ways to develop self-discipline. It involves subjecting yourself to regular challenges and making life uncomfortable in some way as a routine. By doing this, you strengthen yourself for the day when it may be necessary to live in such a manner. Voluntary hardship can include skipping a meal and experiencing hunger for a night, taking a cold shower, quitting smoking, sleeping on the floor, or leaving your coat at home when it's cold and rainy. If you do this frequently enough, 
you'll begin to understand what it's like to feel scarcity and adversity and realize that you can live with both if necessary. Number 5. Practice the Dichotomy of Control Marcus Aurelius says, You have power over your mind, not external events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Feeling distressed and disturbed by trivial matters is detrimental to discipline. You might have a goal and be working towards it, but thoughts and anxieties about something external, something beyond your control, can distract you. In such situations, apply the dichotomy of control, as Epictetus suggests. Reinforce within yourself what's within your control and what's beyond it. If you accept what's beyond your control, you'll experience tranquility. If you have a problem in your life, ask yourself, is this something I can control? If the answer is no, why worry? If the answer is yes, why worry? Understanding this concept helps you master your mind for the better. Number 6. Never play the victim. You need to take responsibility for your life. The why me mindset is the enemy of mental strength. You need to train yourself to see things differently instead of immediately resorting to self-pity. Certainly, it's easier to blame others when things go wrong, but only those with a degree of mental strength can step forward even when it's not their fault and correct the course. If you victimize yourself or blame your current situation, you're giving up control and absolving yourself of personal responsibility. Without a sense of ownership, significant progress becomes an impossible task. Number 7. Practice Delayed Gratification Delayed gratification means having the ability to wait to get what you want. It's about resisting the urge for immediate satisfaction in favor of a more substantial and meaningful goal. For example, a student who wants to become a renowned scientist and make discoveries that impact humanity may choose to delay temporary indulgences like spending hours on social media, binge-watching endless TV series, or going out every night with friends. Instead, they dedicate themselves daily to rigorous study, research, and academic improvement, even if it means giving up some social activities and enduring sleepless nights. Number 8. Ignore Detractors When you declare that you have a special purpose in life and are willing to do what's necessary to achieve it, you may attract detractors people who criticize or oppose something. It's important to understand that allowing someone's opinion to affect you, someone you don't know or don't respect, is a waste of energy. Don't surrender your tranquility to strangers. Listen to the honest feedback of those you respect. But if someone has a history of being a detractor, ignore them. Remember, their opinion doesn't define your worth or your ability to progress. Stay focused and move forward. Number 9. Seek Wise People According to Marcus Aurelius, merely socializing with men of good character is enough to shape your life to be like theirs. Seek external answers to strengthen your self-discipline by identifying role models. Your role models can be friends, family, colleagues, or anyone who has successfully achieved the goal you're working towards. Dedicate time to learn from these people, ask them how they discipline themselves and how they achieve the desired results, and use their experiences to help you discipline yourself on your path. Number 10. Live according to your principles. The philosophy of Marcus Aurelius highlights the significance of living a life that aligns with our values and ethical principles. Being authentic is crucial for a fulfilling existence. When we live by our ideals, we discover a deeper sense of purpose and contentment. This lesson urges us to contemplate our fundamental values and principles and encourages us to make decisions that are consistent with our beliefs, even when it is difficult to do so. It entails acting with integrity, even when nobody is watching, and remaining true to ourselves despite external pressures. Living by our principles requires self-compassion and humility. As human beings, we are prone to making mistakes, but by striving to live in harmony with our values, 
we become more resilient and learn from our experiences. Living by our principles can be challenging because it is not always the easiest or most convenient path to take. However, this lesson teaches us that true satisfaction and joy come from living an authentic life where we can be proud of our choices and the positive impact we leave on the world around us. By living in harmony with our principles, we find lasting inner peace and become inspiring examples for others, encouraging them to live authentically and guided by virtue. Please share your thoughts in the comments. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to Stoic today. Thank you.